Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Learning. In today's video, we're diving into the world of Leonardo AI, an advanced AI platform that's revolutionizing the way we create digital content. Whether you're a designer, developer, or just curious about AI, this video will walk you through everything you need to know about Leonardo AI and how to get started with its powerful tools. Leonardo AI is a platform designed to help you create stunning digital content with ease. From 2D graphics to 3D models, this AI-powered tool offers a wide range of features that cater to artists, designers, and developers alike. By leveraging the power of artificial intelligence, Leonardo AI simplifies complex tasks, allowing you to focus on your creativity. Let's start by visiting the Leonardo AI website. The first thing you'll need to do is create an account. Simply click on the sign up button and fill in your details. Once you've signed up, you'll be taken to the dashboard. The dashboard is your central hub where you can access all the tools and features Leonardo AI has to offer. Here, you can create new projects, manage existing ones, and explore the various AI tools available. When you first create your account, you'll need to choose a username. Your username should be between 4 to 15 characters long and can include letters, numbers, and underscores. For example, endless underscore 123. Next, you'll select your interests. This step is crucial because it helps Leonardo AI personalize your experience. You must select at least one interest to proceed. Once you've selected your interests, it's time to accept the terms and conditions. This standard step ensures you agree with the platform's policies. After accepting the terms and conditions, click the next button to proceed. Leonardo AI comes packed with a variety of features designed to enhance your creative workflow. Let's take a look at some of the key features. Image generation allows you to generate high quality images with ease. Whether you need realistic photos or artistic illustrations, the AI can create stunning visuals based on your inputs. Motion the platform offers advanced motion capabilities, enabling you to add dynamic movement to your designs. This is perfect for creating animations or interactive content. Real-time canvas with the real-time canvas feature you can see your edits and changes in real time. This interactive canvas makes the design process smooth and intuitive, allowing you to make adjustments on the fly. Real-time generation real-time generation feature allows you to generate content instantly. This means you can quickly iterate on your designs and see results immediately. Canvas Editor The Canvas Editor is a powerful tool that lets you customize and refine your projects. It provides a wide range of editing options, making it easy to create detailed and polished designs. Universal Upscaler This feature enhances the resolution of your images, ensuring that your designs look sharp and professional, regardless of their original size. The Universal Upscaler is perfect for improving the quality of images for print or digital use. Now, let's dive into a quick on creating image generation. A text-to-image creation, prompt and negative prompt play crucial roles in guiding the image generation process. Prompt, this is the text description you provide to the model, detailing what you want to see in the generated image. The prompt should be as descriptive and specific as possible to guide the model towards creating an image that matches your vision. It outlines the scene, subjects, style, and any particular elements or atmosphere you wish to include. For example, a sunlit living room in a modern Scandinavian-style apartment tells the model the setting, style, and lighting conditions you're aiming for. Negative prompt, on the other hand, a negative prompt tells the model what to avoid in the generated image. It's used to exclude specific elements, themes, or characteristics that you don't want to appear. For instance, Saying avoid dark and cluttered spaces instructs the model to steer clear of generating images with those attributes. Negative prompts help refine the output by preventing the inclusion of unwanted features, thus getting closer to the desired outcome. Both prompt types are integral to shaping the final image. By effectively using positive, what to include, and negative, what to exclude, 
Prompts users can significantly influence the direction and quality of the images. Preset Presets are pre-configured settings that help you quickly apply a specific style or effect to your image. Leonardo AI offers a variety of presets to choose from, saving you time and effort. We created this image using the Leonardo Phoenix preset. I didn't change any settings. I simply switched the preset from Phoenix to Anime and generated the image. As you can see, the output looks like an anime scene. This demonstrates how Leonardo AI generates images based on the preset and style you choose. To fully explore the capabilities of Leonardo AI, try experimenting with all the available presets. By using the same positive and negative prompts and changing only the preset, you can see how each preset transforms the entire image. This way, you can find the style that best suits your creative vision. Prompt Enhance. This feature refines and enhances your initial prompt, improving the quality and accuracy of the generated image. It helps the AI better understand the nuances of your description. Preset Style. Similar to presets, preset styles are specific artistic styles that you can apply to your images. Whether you want a watercolor effect or a vintage look, preset styles help you achieve the desired aesthetic. We did not change the preset. We only changed the preset style. We kept the Phoenix preset but switched the preset style to 3D render. As a result, this image now looks like a 3D render. Contrast, adjusting the contrast can make your images more vibrant or subdued. This setting allows you to control the difference between the light and dark areas of your image, enhancing its visual impact. Image Dimensions You can specify the dimensions of the generated image, ensuring it fits perfectly within your project's layout. Leonardo AI supports a wide range of dimensions, giving you flexibility in your design process. For example, I changed the image dimension from 1 East 1 to 9 East 16, as you can see. The output is now optimized for mobile. Number of images, this setting allows you to generate multiple images at once. You can specify the number of variations you want. Next, private mode. Private mode to keep your projects confidential and secure, accessible only to you and invited collaborators. This feature is ideal for sensitive or proprietary work. However, private mode is not available in the free version. It requires upgrading to a premium plan for enhanced privacy and advanced features. When you select a generated image, a few options appear. The first option is to download the image. You can easily save it to your device. The second option is to generate a motion video. The platform offers advanced motion capabilities, allowing you to add dynamic movement to your designs, which is perfect for creating animations or interactive content. Additionally, you can remove the image background. Now let me show you how to generate these features. I will generate a new image to show these options. Since I need an image in landscape mode, I'll adjust the settings accordingly. Type your image prompt and generate a new image. It will show four images. Select the one you want to convert to a video, then click Generate Motion Video. Now, it's starting to generate a motion video. Please wait for it to complete. Sometimes using overly detailed prompts can cause errors. For example, a prompt like this might be too complex. To avoid this, try simplifying your prompt. I'll try a different prompt and come back. Finally, we created a motion video from the image. Double-click to see the final output. You can also download this video file. That's it for today's video. We've explored how to use Leonardo AI to create and transform images, generate motion videos, and more. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and are excited to try out these features yourself. In our next video, we'll dive into the real-time canvas feature, 
showing you how to make edits and see changes in real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.